she's knows she's being hunted. It's going for the decoy. Went for the decoy. One went for the decoy. Reload that tube. Let's go. Come up, come up, come up. Yeah, we missed both there. She's used two decoys. She's trying to find us now. Okay, here we go. We'll try and fire another one. Pinging the shit out of me right now. Hello everyone, Matsmus here with you today. Now you're probably wondering, Matsmus, why the hell are you wearing a American USS Missouri naval hat? Well, that's because this was from my trip to Hawaii when I actually visited the ship itself, which is an amazing, amazing trip to do. If you can ever get around to doing it, doing it. And I thought it'd be quite fitting to wear this hat playing Cold Waters, which is actually, um, probably my face is covering the title of the game, but it's actually a naval simulation game that was recently released, I think as of today actually, and the developers were very kind in giving me the opportunity to play it and give it a go, and thank you very much for that, I really appreciate it. Now, I do like my naval simulation games, I'm not a massive sort of navy guy, I don't know enough about it, um, but it is a rather interesting premise, having a modern day naval game. Now I have played Fleet Command back in the day and it was a hell of a lot of fun. I'm hoping it's going to become something a little bit like that, but this primarily focuses on submarines and that's pretty cool because submarines are a very technical side of the naval world. There's a lot of things going on, whether it be sonar, etc, etc. Now there is a good friend of mine and a fellow YouTuber who's actually currently playing this game. Uh, he's been very hyped for it for a while and so have I to be honest. And he is finding some red flags. I would really appreciate, guys, if you go check out his channel. He's a very, very um, good YouTuber in terms of realistic gameplay um, for military simulation games. He's just a fantastic guy, very good friend of mine. So please go check out his channel. He is uh, working hard and reviewing and giving true, accurate uh, depiction of what this game's all about. So, I mean, he knows everything about some sub simulation games. So, go check out his channel. His name's Co uh, Steel Beast Cavalry. I can put the description for his channel in the links below. Just go say hello and go check out his channels. But he is having some red flags, and some things are coming up that are a little. Eh. Now, I have gone through the training, and it is fairly straightforward. There's nothing too technical about this, which kind of makes me worry a little bit because it does make the game a little dry. Pardon the pun. Um, but it's not really anything that I'm like, oh wow, that's incredible, because it's it's just not right now. And I've only been through the training, and normally the training trying to set you up to think this is going to be a great game. But that's just training. You never know. There's going to be, you know, other things going on. So we're going to have a look at the campaign then. So new campaign, North Atlantic, 1984. I apologize if my face is covering any of the important stuff here, guys. But I thought I, you know, with the hat it seems applicable. <clears throat> so here we go. 1984. As tensions build along the Iron Curtain. Warsaw Pact forces launch a devastating surprise attack across the Fulda Gap. Central Europe is plunged into war and NATO nations struggle to push back. Resupply convoys from the United States are crucial to the war effort and they must be defended. NATO naval operations assign you to the Norwegian Sea, North Atlantic in an attempt to maintain control of the situation at sea. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just start that one then. Uh, we're going to save it as... Oh, we're not going to be called Thomas Chesterson. The fucking comment sounds like a serial killer's name. We'll call it Maximus. Not gaming. Mm. Maximus Fleet. I like that. Okay, so let's get going here. So, select vessel. What do we have going on here? Uh, Los Angeles attack, nuclear attack, submarine defense. So, we've got a lot of torpedoes, we've got our decoys, we've got our UGM 84 missiles. Uh, I presume they're harpoon missiles, I'm not too sure. Tomahawk cruise missiles. Uh, they're two different types. I think it's. Uh, I'm not too sure the differences. I'm, like I said, new to the naval world. Different senses. In service since 1976, this class was first to be designed from the outset to a, with a towed array and the first to return to 13 plus knot speed of the, of the ship jacks. That's interesting. Okay, we're just going to pick that. I mean, it's, it seems to be working quite fine. From Com, Com Sublent. Com Sublent? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I know nothing about the Navy. Eh? <laughs> to Commander Matsumus Fleet. Info. Sin Clan Fleet, I guess. Subject, New Command Assignment. Effective immediately, you are hereby assigned Commander of Los Angeles Class Submarine USS Birmingham SSN 695. Congratulations, good knock on your new command. Hell yeah, baby. Let's get this thing into the, into the ocean and start hunting some... Ooh, look at that. 
Foreign relations new president elect Ronald Reagan has begun his term in office with establishing a harsh tone against the Soviet Union. The former California governor, once a Democrat, is reputed for his anti communist stance and active part in taking in sorting out socialist friendlies in Hollywood since the 1950s. Cool. Really cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool. I'd rather not read and just hunt some shit. Provoking the bear is Reagan pushing too hard. Tensions between the Soviet Union and the US are continually increasing. The increased US military spending, followed by Mr. Reagan's denunciation of the Soviet Union as an evil empire, raises the question as how the Kremlin will react. Oh goodness, that's not Air Force One, is it? Soviets down civilian liner. International outrage as the Soviet Air Force shoots down a Korean Airlines flight over the Sakhalin Islands. All 269 passengers on board were killed. That's not good. Oh look. Naked Russians. Kind of awkward. Is he trying to fly? Like, what's going on then? This guy's just kind of got his man boobs out, just watching them argue. It's weird. Pushing missiles deployed in West Germany. That's getting tense. F-15s. Why is his air brake on taking off? It's kind of weird. Soviets thought nuclear drill able archer was real. It's getting tense, guys. It's getting tense. Look at those beautiful tanks. Makes me want to play still. He's pro. No! I must commit to the Navy. Reds attack. War declared. Shit has hit the fan. Soviet infantry supported by armed units and strike aircraft stormed across the folder gap today in a surprise attack. In the United States, military forces have been fully mobilized and convoys loaded with men, materials and arms have already been across the Atlantic. Okay, so USS Birmingham SSN 695 docked at Holly Lock. Okay, so mission orders. It is November 84. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Intel believes enemy cruise missile submarines having conducted successful operations against NATO convoys in the North Atlantic will now attempt to transit the Guick Gap. I think that's the GIUK. I remember Steelby's cavalry was talking about it. And I, I think he said it's uh, Germany, something United Kingdom Gap. I don't know. Uh, and return to port for repairs and rearming. Primary objective, locate and sink the enemy cruise missile submarines. Secondary objective, none. This is going to be interesting. I have never played this game very well before uh, in training, and I'm sure I'm not going to do so well in it and actually hunting other submarines. Um, so, the crew is enjoying some shore leave while we make ready for departure. Fully stocked, all systems operational. Your orders. Cast off, anchors away. Oh, jeez, here we go. Okay, so, shit's going on. Things are moving. People are going places. Wow, this is quite the map we're looking at here. I'm liking it. Okay, so... Planes are dotting all over the place. I don't know if I'm supposed to be moving around here. Things, I guess it's still taking its turn, maybe? Yeah, time is still going. My face may be covering the timing right now, but it is a, yeah, going up in hourly rating. So it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock in the evening. Oh, November 8th. Planes are dotting all over the place, probably scanning for ships. The bear bombers, I guess, going out hunting. There's a submarine coming out that way. We are at Holly Lock. Oh, I can move. Oh, okay, there we go. I guess we kind of drag the ship. Denmark lost. NATO suffers a severe blow as the Warsaw Pact amphibious invasion of Denmark has resulted in the complete overtaking of the country. That's not good. Okay, we need to hunt that ship. Okay, so we're going to hunt down that sub. Making a run for it. Here we go. Keep going. It's relocated. It looks like they're drawing me into a trap, really, isn't it? I'm actually going to get into a contact here? Or, uh, here we go. Okay, USS Birmingham, SSN 695. In the vicinity of the Norwegian Sea, Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 79, designate Sierra 1. Our depth, we're at 900 feet. Storm, and there's a high wind, no surface duct. Very weak thermal layer of 108 feet. Our speed is 26 knots. Okay, all hands manual belt stations. Let's close to it. I think that's kilometers to target or something like that in terms of... Yeah, see, this is, this is embarrassing. Cobra Base, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm making an, a, a horrible, horrible appeal of myself here in terms of naval stuff. Uh, let's go all hands manual belt stations. So first of all, we're going to lower our speed... I'm going to go two third. I want to keep nice and quiet here. So where did we find that last contact? I guess we haven't found any contacts. Okay, so we're going to come up uh, in terms of... Whoa, 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 That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we're going to go up, 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 up. There we 
we go. Let's see if we can find something here. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is a very new game to me. Um, I'm going to look for Humpback Bio. I can't remember all my, all my shit going on here. Oh, no, not back all emergency. There we go. We'll stop. No, we're going to keep going all forward. Hit third. There we go. Level her out again. Don't want to go too fast. And I don't want to make too much bubbles. So I think it's shift. No, God. That's not what you do. That's, that's not what you do. I just blew my emergency ballast. Um, that, that's not what you want to do when, when you're trying to be quiet. Um, so... <laughs> this is why you don't trust me with naval stuff, guys. I suck at it. Okay, so we're trying to hunt for another submarine, but... Uh, now, they said 7-9 was the, was the last known. Was it 8-9? So let's turn left. I'm going to try and turn that way and see if we can get a good sort of an R contact. Sonar Sierra 1 is cavitating. Sonar new contact bearing 118. Oh, we're getting pinged. Okay, let's go slow. Oh, stop. Now I'd like to make my own pinging. It's trying to ping me. Nice and quiet. Okay. Maneuvering. Let's take her forward. I can't remember the controls here. God damn it, I forgot what the controls are. <laughs> so we need to put we need to start scanning. We're not putting any toad ray, uh, sonar array out right now. We're raising in depth, but I certainly don't want to do that. Oh no! No 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 no! C, 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 C. Go down balance. Down. Oh god, it's because I moved my emergency ballast. Go down. I can't remember how to go down. This was a dumb idea. So the contact, at least we find the contact behind us. <laughs> I'm going to so badly die here. Like, I've just surfaced. I don't know why I pressed that emergency ballast. He's going to be hunting me like crazy right now. Okay, so I guess we've got to fill our tanks back up for air and stuff. We are just a sitting duck right now, like an absolute sitting duck. I have completely screwed this up. We need to get down. Order is zero. Is she going back down or not yet? Hopefully soon. She's starting to go back down. Okay, we need some power. We're cavitating. That's not good. We're making noise. I just want to go back down, but I don't think my ballasts have filled back up yet. Still equaling tanks. I can't believe I pressed emergency blow. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just totally failing here. Okay, ballast is coming down. Maybe fill up. I need to get down. I think we're filled up with gas now. There we go, we can go down. There we go, we're going back into the water. K 
Okay, let's let's try let's try doing this now. We're cavitating. I don't want to cavitate, so we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn that way. Okay, contact Sierra two. She's to our right. So full right rudder. Dive, dive, dive. Get me down. Look at that. We're making so much noise in the water right now. This thing's going to be just any minute now going to put a torpedo into the back of me. I can't even remember what the buttons are for noise makers and all that stuff. Okay, we're going to level her out and spin around. Have a contact. Oh, she's closing in on us. She's right behind us, I think. Okay. straight now. So I'm going to go F9. Okay. Oh shit, she's right beside us. She fired a torpedo. Okay, hard left. Hard left, hard left. I see big bitch. I don't know if she's seen us or not though. Come on. I don't know if she's seen us. She probably has, but she's parallel with us, so... You'd think she'd be t following my tail. Maybe she doesn't know I'm here. 95% sure of target, though, so if I can get a torpedo here... I just need to turn as quickly as possible. Gosh, she's a big bitch. That's a big sub to be hunting. If I can turn just enough in time, I might be able to get a torpedo off, but I think she's trying to do the same thing. She's trying to turn the same angle. Come on, baby. Turn, turn, turn. She's trying. Okay, we are gonna have to go down get that angle. She's right there, come on. Okay, I think I might have her in the bag here. If I can just get enough turn. I'm going to reload that with a wire guided. I'm going to reload that with a wire guided too. We are going to try our best to put a wire guided on target first. Oh, I've got it right in my sights. Come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lining her up. She's all mine if I can get a torpedo on target here. Yeah, let's see if this works. Get away. Come on, baby, do your stuff. Launch another one. Another one away. I don't think that first one's gonna hit. 
I don't know why it was doing that first one, but it ain't gonna hit target. She's a big bitch. Look at the size of that thing. She's pinging. She's pinging me. She's putting decoys out. She knows she's been hunted. Come on, baby. Hunt that target. Hunt it. Hunt it. Hunt it. Yeah, she knows she's been hunted right now. Might have to put another one on her. Turn left. Yeah, she knows she's been hunted. It's going for the decoy. It went for the decoy. One went for the decoy. Reload that tube, let's go. Come up, come up, come up. Yeah, we missed both there, she's used two decoys. She's trying to find us now. Okay, here we go. Try and fire another one. Yeah, she's pinging the shit out of me right now. Come on, baby. Give me something, give me something. She's coming straight for me. She's coming straight for me. Up, 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 up. Whoa, crap, was that me? Oh my god. I think I killed myself. Was that her own torpedo? Oh my god, what happened? I think I lost my ship. She killed me. Am I gonna knock her out? Come on. Fuck, that was fun though. Kind of enjoyed that. I know I lost my ship, but yeah, completely dead. My torpedoes just scanning all over the place. I guess I got too cocky. I should have, uh, I should have, first of all, known my controls a little bit more. She knocked me right out of the water there. I didn't even know she'd fired a torpedo, to be honest, but she's pinging me like crazy. Well, what's left of me. Okay, so I guess that's uh, leave combat. We completely lost everything. Um, lost with all hands. Yeah, the flowers on the water. It's not a good start. A NATO spokesman has confirmed the US nuclear attack submarine has been lost in action. <laughs> Although details are incomplete at this time, sources close to the Pentagon say the submarine was lost with all hands during the course of duty. Defeat in Europe. Warsaw Paxes continue to drive back NATO by opening a new major offensive this morning. Meanwhile, Soviet naval forces have effectively cut off the North Atlantic convoy lines, leaving NATO forces in Europe with little hope of reinforcements. Well, um, clearly you see how awful I am at this game straight away, so I don't know how this continues now, whether we get another ship. Iron, court, Iron Curtain draws over Europe. Hundreds of thousands of refugees flee towards the English Channel. Well, that was it. I think we're done. Uh, Days at War 3, final outcome. There was little hope for you and your crew. The twisted remains of the USS Birmingham have come to the rest on the seafloor. A lasting monument to all those brave souls who were on board. Well, uh, <laughs> my first mission. And I absolutely mustered it up. That was a complete cluster. Um, but I must admit, I was having a bit of fun there. That was good fun. For my first ever try, I didn't think I did too bad. I got some torpedoes away at least. I just didn't quite know exactly what I was trying to do with them. Um, <laughs> honestly, guys, I think if I got stuck into this game a little more, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. That's what I should have done right there, um, but I didn't. But I think if I'd get some practice in and actually have the controls on hand a little bit more instead of trying to remember the controls from two training sessions ago, I'd actually do quite well. But uh, thank you for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> Overall, I think the game is going to be fun, but it does require maybe a little of work for, for some people's uh, concerns. I must admit, for that particular small little part of the campaign there, I was having fun chasing down that big bitch. Um, with torpedoes, but uh, we'll see what happens when I get on to the next mission if I try the campaign again <laughs> um, So thank you so much for joining me today. I really really appreciate it Leave me a comment leave me a like if you did enjoy it And uh, if you do wish to support my channel check out my patreon account I'd really appreciate it and that's it from me today all the best. Bye. Bye